Hey, give me. Give me my tokens. I want the arena. I hate it, 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 I hate it. I saw the gacha thing reset. I saw the look reset. I hate it. How can you eat so much chocolate and still stay fit? I don't think I'm fit. I do not think I'm fit. If we had like a... If we did the bleep test, I don't think I'd do very well. Yeah, so this is... Oh, this does something. Oh, yeah, I can splosh that. But I have to wait till it collects. So I can click the plant, click the frogs, click the birds, click the fish, and splosh the leaf. I think I have to end with a, with a leaf splosh. Or maybe I'll leaf splosh, open the plant, triple fish, and then end it off with another leaf splosh because it just gets back. To, to being splashable. All right, so say we load in. Boom. Boom. One, two, three. Splosh. Oh, that's like perfect timing. That's like perfect timing. It literally just comes back. Okay. I mean, good luck ritual discovered, I guess. That is like perfect timing. I'm okay playing, trying to play into our really. Oh, yeah. uh. It's always green, red, red, right? Green's getting nerfed next patch as well to 2020. Oh, I actually think, I actually think I need to make 10 here. Yeah. I can slam um, a runons. Oh, I can slam Runan's Redemption. That's really good. Oh, would I slam Red Buff Redemption? I don't think it's extended dual. Red Buff Redemption. What's the bleep test? It's like, um... Like, you have to... Do like run up and down, like a whatever, however big it is, and then but you have to have made it before the bleep, and then the bleeps get like shorter and shorter intervals, so you need to run the amount like quicker. This guy hit Dragon Lord Story Weaver. All right, bro. What about mine? Dryad Bruiser. Well, it's actually another good one. I did sell a Gina. I lost my story weaver, but I want to stack Dryad. Wait, Dryad Bruiser, that's actually another good one. Also Caitlyn too. Okay, I think I think this guy's is better though. I'm not gonna lie. But I think mine's okay. I just played Genar Kindred reroll this game. I killed one unit. Crab Brave. Oh yeah, Gina would be really good against the crab as well. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I want to keep my bruiser. Don't care about you. You can go in. Uh, protection. Like if I play Senna Gina, but I'm sure yeah. This guy's playing Senna. I'm li oh yeah, there's so many center players. I'm gonna have to play Kindred Gina. I know it is a comp, I just don't think it's that good. But um Yeah, let's see. Wait, I, I can't sit on TFT Academy, so we're gonna have to cook it ourselves. So it's obviously gonna be Rek'Sai, Gina, Kindred, um, on and this guy, because we have the spat. We get a free bruiser. I mean I probably only tip play two bruiser to be honest. And then I'd I'd need a Reaper. I mean it'd be set. Um, and then it'd be, oh, it could be Kane, actually. I was going to say, is it Set Yone? Oh, and then, and then Thresh for that. And then I've got my Bruiser plus one. Wait, this would just be my board. 
or support or an artifact. Oh, an artifact could be Death Defiance, but also it couldn't be. I think it's Randuins. I'm also pretty, pretty sure that I'm supposed to play um, this opener. That sounds nice, but you made me hungry so minus one points. Wait, oh, I would like a bagel. I would like a bagel, actually. This thing is always blue buff Nashes. All right, I'm playing, I mean, I'm playing Kindred. I'm playing Kindred, you know. This is just my body, I need to roll on six. Yeah, okay. I mean, I need legendaries though. God. I would like this tier. If I get blue buff Nashes, I'm chilling. But I should also go for. Should I also start going for Genar items though. Hmm. But blue buff Nashes Kindred. If I hit Kindred too, she she might carry me for a bit. Craving hash browns. Hash browns would be nice. Also thinking about it, like the dummy having Dryad Bruiser is really good. Cause it, it will just be a tank with randoins as well. Like, my dummy is just a straight up tank. Uh, also, yeah. If I'm only playing three fated, I will just give the bonus between set and kindred, probably. Or it could just still be from set and thresh. Alright, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. My bod's not bad, though. Oh, like, my bod won't be bad, though, as long as I hit. Because I'm pretty sure no one's playing a uh, Gina or the only kindreds that'll be gone are from the fated players, but I'm pretty sure um where the stuff's not going. Also I won last round, but now I'm getting eternal wintered, so that's not good. Well, at least let me kill a unit. Nice. Okay. Lo if I go loss loss, win loss loss, that is awful. That's like the worst thing in the whole entire world. I mean I guess this guy is bruiser dryad actually. Sure. You can just hold the random ends, man. Um, also, I can do this. Because Kindred Dash is about. Alright, alright, alright. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look like it'll be that bad. Dryad Bruiser. Wait, I'm actually loss, loss, win, loss, loss. The... Oh, that's bad. That's that's sad and bad. That that makes me want to cry, actually. If it was Wandering Sentinel, you'd have a beast one, yeah, I would. Okay, okay, okay. As long as I can itemize these two, fine. I think her third item's Death Cap, and this guy's item is um, oh Exalted as well. Nah, I can't play through Exalted this game. Come on, any more two costs? Oh, there's a kindred. Any more? Okay. Um. I mean, I can also just do this. Oh, but then this doesn't get random ends. I mean, I can also just do this. Does she have a dash back? Dash away. So she can dash backwards, right? Okay. Gargantuan next augment would be huge. Hydrate. When I go six, am I just playing a Reaper? Probably. Probably, probably. Uh oh, Portable Forge is like crazy good. So is Gifts. Uh, Gifts is like guaranteed good. But Mar if I'm playing Bruiser Dryad, so is Marta. I'm not gonna risk it with this. Oh, it's actually. Like, these are all good. Gifts and Marta are both really good. I think it's got to be Marta. Oh. Or oh, just get six dried for free. 
Well, that's also good. I think I can roll a, a little bit. Wait, this opens up other avenues. For sure. This opens up other avenues. For sure. Because I can dryad. I mean, do I just dryad thresh? Probably. Because I can get six dried as soon as I have an on. That's like quite soon, to be honest. Probably, hopefully. Anyway, because I think I'm going to... I mean, I can just roll at seven instead then. If I hit GNR2, I might just go seven and start rolling. Oh my god. I have six dryad. I mean, I would love to. Okay, so if I was to level, I get warden. I would really like reaper. No, I'd probably play, I'd play reaper, right? Is it ever four bruiser dryad Silas? Well, that sounds insane. Does does Silas actually perform? Because I can get Umbral as well. With Yerno. That actually sounds really good. Alright, last augment heavy hitters. Agreed. I would still like to roll for Kindred. Maybe I can just play like the Silas late game. Because I want to try out this Kindred comp. But maybe I am also just strong enough to like stay rolling at this level. Need some GNR stuffs. Okie dokie. Or not. Wait, why don't I just take the Annie rod? Because I do need a rod for this. I thought, okay, let me start building all items. I guess it's fine either way. But I probably should have gone for uh, a rod. Right, I just need a GNR2, man. Oh, just six kindreds. Okay, so maybe instead of building GNR, I will just try hit... Um, I can just try to hit Kindred 3 and then play Silas as my duo carry instead of GNR. That's also fine. I think this guy for sure gets... Does it... I mean, 2 Reaper gives me crit. So he's Guardbreaker fine. 2 Reaper does give me crit. That gives uh, my unit the chance to crit. It might help me... W you know what? I'm going to slam it. Because it might just help me win rounds for now, which is more Dryad stacks. You know, for the late game. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. To be honest. I think you cooked it. Yeah, I think you did cook with that shot. To be honest. Ooh. I think I, I want defense, right? I actually do want on items. I'm pretty sure. There's a Silas. Yeah, I definitely want Gargoyle on my arm. But it's also... Oh, wait. Should I have done that? Because it's also Titans. I already put the Chain Vest there, though. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I'm just not hitting... Nah, nah. Because I'm not even hitting Gina. I'm not even hitting Gina. I don't know what Silas BIS is. I mean, I'm guessing Titans is actually BIS on um, on this comp, though. But I need to help that I hit a remover for Thresh, I guess. Yeah, I really need to help that. Oh, 
I get to five streak this stage. That's really nice. Killed 41. That is a lot. I hit Jinnar too. I'm one off Kindred. Alright, I just let the game give me the last one. Titan's Hodge Guardbreaker. That also doesn't sound too bad. I don't know about Guardbreaker actually, because I don't have crit on him. He's not a Reaper. I just hit. I don't have any burn. I think burn is uh, pretty necessary. I don't have any burn, right? No. All right, you can just hold the Morella. What's going on, Azir, later? I'm not rolling here. Wait, I didn't... Honestly, I didn't see the Kha'Zix in my shop. I'm pretty sure it was play Kha'Zix over Silas, though, for now. But I do have my Kindred 3, so... That is a positive. Definitely a positive. Okay. Okay, she's kind of smurfing. She's kind of smurfing. Ooh. No. I want to risk Call to Chaos. Like, what if it gives me... Jeweled Lotus is far and away the best choice here. But I'm a gambling man. What did it give me? 70 XP. They gave me 70 XP. Wait, I, I just straight up got 70 gold for free. I just straight up got 70 gold for free. Okay. I mean, that is pretty insane. That is pretty insane. I feel like that's actually the best one. I can just go fast nine to play a zero and four bruiser. Wait, what dry do I actually drop four a zero? Wait, do I just drop Gina? Could. All right, now that my kindred can crit, she's a uh, she's a bit of a beast. Can't lie. I see a beast in it. I see a beast in it. Yeah, we're going the fastest nine possible, man. I can just I can go nine at four five. I just want, I want Yone over uh, Kha'Zix. Wait, maybe we're going the fastest 10 possible. I don't want to lose my streak. You know what? Let me just put that there for a sec. Azir. But I needed to put a zero in over that thing. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Alright, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, hopefully I don't lose this round because I didn't have enough time. But I hit the set, so now I have Warden and I have Umbral. So I don't actually need it to be um, Yone anymore. Okay, that guy got a free BT. I get to make 20. Galio. Oh, wait. I actually do need Galio. You are right. I do want four Bruiser, right? Do I? Well, do I even want four Bruiser? Or do I just play two Bruiser because it's just free HP? I don't think I do play Silas now, you know. I don't think I actually do play Silas now. I think I just play Legendaries. I think I just play Legendaries. I'll grab a Titans. So let me just... So no, I actually don't play you. I play Set. And Set gets to also squat the Bruisers. So where does Set go? Where does Set stand? Um, wait, hold up. Wait. You get a Titans because I'm going to hit you. For sure. Set needs to stand somewhere where he can... 
All right, hold up, because I still don't know what's going on. Uh, Kane should have probably gone in over Kazakh there. Do I ever play a ghostly unit in this board? Um, Behemoth, Bruiser. No, I don't think so. Oh, this guy is a uh, Yone 3. Alright, it's been anti healed though. Oh, yeah, my guy got a free Sunfire. Oh, wait. Udi is actually smurfing, man. Boom! You're not hitting Gina. Yeah, no, you are right. An item removal with infinite uses are gold. Yoink. Ah, oh, but maybe it's just actually Wukong though. Where's Azir? Did I still not put Azir in? Pretty sure it's Azir over this. I do want something to get squatted. I hit Wukong too. Um, probably wanted him to have dried. Okay. Still six dried, but I want to play legendaries. I do want invoker as well. I do want invoker as well. Yeah. And I, oh yeah. True. Wait, I can get the remover. I can remove the randoins. I was thinking, yeah, I really wish I had randomings on set, but then I got that thing and didn't even realize. No, you're right, you're right. Mm, close. Just barely lost. Okay. Let's get the, uh, let's get the randomings on this guy. Oh, wait, I'd actually rather him squat the dummy, right? Uh, the Thresh has a lot of HP. Also, I want a bonus between that. Uh, I want Randoins on Wukong for sure. My body's very clumped and it's very confusing. This is Gino 3. This is Gino 10. Ooh. What is that going to be? Let me uh, pop this. Wait, do I have any shred? No, I can go shiv. Shiv Morello. What's this? Another spat. And an anvil. Well, I got another dryad emblem. Oh, I'm just gonna just gonna build it, man. I'm just gonna build it. I get to drop another Bobby unit now. Wait, who gets it? Hold up. Doesn't matter who for now. Right, I have seven. I have three dried spots. Imagine if this was like um, Story Weaver instead or something. Well, a gold orb dropped a spat and a component anvil. That's actually a really good drop, man. That's actually a really good drop. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to just play into like Dragon Lords uh, now. Like Ultra Bruiser, Dragon Lord, all that kind of thing, and just still stick with six Dryad. Okay, so I have Kazix in because he's heavenly, and he gives my whole board crit though. All right, I think I want that there. I'll put that up there. Kazix, you can just go wherever you want. You can go wherever you want. All right, I need to try and go ten. I need to try and go 10. I think I'll keep Kha'Zix. Will I? Yeah, I think I'll. Well, I could also play that. Dryad set. I mean, I could, but I, it's Wukong 2, though. Who else has the Dryad spot? There's another one, right? I'm just sure up 7 Dryad. Maybe I can just play a better Bruiser instead of Rek'Sai. But also, like, you gotta think, if I have seven Dryad, isn't it still okay to play that because it's just another unit with Dryad? Like, it doesn't actually matter that I'm one over. It's not actually, a, like, a big deal. I can also drop... Do I want to drop Fated, though? I feel like Fated's kind of good. 
Played Yon over that. I get Umbral. I think Umbral's not even real. I would honestly rather have the crit from Kha'Zix. I'd rather have Heavenly in. Okay, so. Imagine I was to level. I could honestly... No, because I don't want to... I'd like to get Janna in for Invoker with Azir. I can... I could just drop Thresh. I have a slot... Like, I don't need Udir in. I could play, like... Hmm. We'll figure out. Hi, Celis. How you doing, bro? Is that Harry Potter spell? Think you want an Omni Vampire and fill the Wukong and move the Gargoyle? Yeah, probably. Well, I'm going to end this game though for sure, right? I'm trying to cap my board. GS is nice, Edge Knight is nice, Sterix is nice. Warden Spat's honestly kind of nice. Mm. I think I'll go Edge Knight. I think I'll go Edge Knight and just double Gargoyle. How many stacks is my uh, Dryad at? 100. Hit Azir too. Uh, yeah, you get these. What's my set at? 64% already as well. Hmm. Fall Reap. Now, Fall Reap is fake. From this spot. Because I, I end up having to play like just too much fodder when I could just be playing legendaries. I think Fall Reap is fake. I think getting three, yeah, I think, I think it's level up in Janna and then like rack on over Udia or something. I get some Dragon Lordage, but actually I'd rather go Altruist, so maybe like it's definitely rack on. Does it have to be Janna? Does Invoker matter that much? I mean, it's, is Invoker, yeah, five mana every, to all allies. I mean, two Invoker is just really good. Yeah, we we just checked last round. I think it's it's out a lot of stacks. It's out a lot of stacks right now. It's out 109. Ooh. Boom, 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 boom. What is this? A chain vest. I'm not leveling now. Wait till next turn. Well, wait till 6 1, should I say? Yeah, this guy doesn't need to be in. He's still a good unit, don't get me wrong. But I'll just throw a rock on in. Hopefully, hit my upgrades. Uh, so I guess I'm not playing you. Um, I'm also not playing you for sure. I don't think I I don't think I get Huawei in, unfortunately. Okay. Sounds good, sounds good. My Kindred has 4.2k HP. <laughs> Well, Wukong has 3.7k HP. Uh, a Heavenly Emblem somehow would be really nice for all that Omnivam. My Azir is just on support, but that's also good. My set got a free BT and Hodge from um, Orn. Orn farmed himself a Protector's Vow as well. What a beast. Boom. Oh my god. She's just so... On one tank, 17k because of how much HP he's got. Oh, it's Crab Rave. There is no way I'm losing to the Crab Rave. Can you hear it? <laughs> I, I mean, it's getting drowned out by the just... Crazy amount of stuff going on. No. You're actually having a laugh. <laughs> Alright, whatever. I lost. <laughs> I lost. Mm. Do I just... Alright, let me uh, start on the music. Well, I actually lost. I'm just going to build this guy, whatever. Legendaries are legendaries. Mm. 
I'm gonna hit set two. I hit set two. All right, I'm just keeping it here. Uh, you can have a death cap. Because this guy's actually doing the insane damage as well. All right. I think, yeah. I mean, we lost to the... We lost to the crab because we hadn't rolled yet, though. So did we really lose to the crab light? Nah. Oh, this guy's built diff. Wait, that's actually uh, crazy that they top three do the built diff. I think built diff's hard to play. Wait, is anyone playing Azir, by the way? I will sell my full ward. If I need to. Okay, but I shouldn't be rolling now, though. Is anyone playing Wukong? Also, no. I should be Dryad Spite in my set now, for sure, I think. Forget this guy. Forget this guy. I don't want him to uh, have an item farmed on him. My set got a QSS. That's pretty good. What's my set's AD at now? 132%. Wait, the game might not last until Carousel, you know. Alright. Can we all agree? Should have played way to duplicate one of Z. I didn't think the game would last that long. Oh. Beat my ghost. Okay, I'm down to sell board after Carousel. And if I don't hit... It's still a tuba because we. I think we can all agree that my board would... Um, I think we can all agree that my board would just like straight win here, right? Like, surely. Unless I lose this one. That'd actually be kind of nice if I lost this one. I'm really down for an Azir 3. This call to Chaos Man, 70 XP. I don't think it could have gone any better. 5k HP. It actually is just Soraka over Udia. I know it's Udia too, but I think the amount of HP that we've got to Altruist is probably worth more than an Udia too. I won't kill him this round, so that's why I didn't like uh, sell Bard or Grief or anything. Wait, this guy's going for Syndra 3. I hope I hit him. Wait, this guy's actually killed my Azir quite quickly, so I'm dying. Oh, I'm dying, I'm dying. That's actually kind of good. Okay. I lost quite hard there. Alright, alright, alright. Come on, come on, come on. Azir or Wukong? Okay. There's an Azir. <laughs> and the Dryads, but... Alright. Come on, Azir. I am level 10. Sorry, we're calm. Uh, you think this guy left F? Nah, there's no way. There's no way. We hit a Z3. Has 8.5k HP. Alright, I'm gonna say this like halfway through the round, so hopefully they don't just FF after seeing it. GG, bro. Nice, man. We actually hit a Zia 3 as well. Wait, we said we wanted two tubers, and that we got. Have you ever seen an Azir's HP that high? Oh, the Udia lived it. <laughs> he lived it. He cheesed me. All right, GG. Oh, thanks to this guy for not FFing. Thank you for not FFing. All right. All right. That was a good game, man. That was a very good game. Ah. <sighs>